Hello there, and we're all set to go here at the Pre-Zero Arena in Zinsheim. My name's Derek Ray, and joining me for commentary on this game is the former Arsenal and England fullback Lee Dixon. And we have live action from the Bundesliga coming right up. It's Hoffenheim, and they face Köln. Thanks, Derek. Yeah, really looking forward to both teams producing entertaining football. Let's see if we get that. Well, every football coach likes to have a versatile forward in his ranks. Andrei Kramaric is certainly one such player. Lee, what do you think we might see from him today? Well, basically, you've got to keep him out of the box because he's got such a brilliant finishing ability that you give him half a yard, he will score. So keep him as far away from your goal as possible. A look at the initial 11 for Hoffenheim. Looks as though they're going with the belt and braces approach. Yeah, 5-3-2 or 3-5-2. The midfield will be flooded when they've got the ball. Defensively, those fullbacks will be asked to supply support to their three centre backs, but it does enable you to play two strikers up front. Unable to keep the ball that time. And they are on the move again. Possession given away, unfortunately. Baumgartner, Bebu, Kramaric, and he might be through here. Well, just fractionally wide, good strike. Baumgartner. Good pass. Kramaric. Well, really rifling that one in, and he didn't miss by much. Skiri and Rezbetsai with it just the clearance that was needed and with that the attack fizzles out Bebu In a position from which they could potentially do a bit of damage here. Dispossessed there. Tremendous piece of tackling. Envis Rejbetsai. Zali Özcan with it. Now will the cross work out for them? John Andrei Kramaric Oh, lovely ball And a throw in forthcoming Samaseku Andrei Kramaric Rudy. Well, that's how to dispossess your opponent. Elias Skiri. Now, let's see what they can do here. The referee spotted the infringement, and it will be a free kick in a position of genuine menace. Let's fly here! Chance, maybe? And I think the threat has been averted. 
Well, look at that. Hoffenheim enjoying the lion's share of possession. But I don't think the manager or the fans will be too happy with this performance. It's all been a little bit too slow, too pedestrian. They need to find another gear if they're going to go on and win this. Andrei Kramaric, crossing possibilities. Can he put them in front? Wonderful block. Well, there might well be scope for them to counter-attack here. Elvis Rejbetsai. Plenty of forward momentum here, but can they produce? Well, it looked highly promising, but they got nothing out of it. Kader Zabek. Well, the stoppage time situation, one minute here. Pass after pass, keeping their opponents moving. The first half here comes to an end. Bebou. So they get the ball rolling in the second half. Even Steven here. So little to choose between the sides. Elvis Rejbetsai. They could nudge in front. And there it is. The opening goal. 1-0. And they'll feel they deserve it. Well, let's see that again. Once he gets into his stride, he just strolls past players. What a lovely solo, wonderful effort this is. Slightly different vantage point in terms of the goal that was scored. So the match has restarted. 1-0 here. Baumgartner Andrei Kramaric couldn't keep it well they get the ball once more well they have it again Janis Horn Good looking ball. And they are on the move again. Well, the referee wasn't going to let that go. Well, they've been getting the substitute ready, and now they will make the personnel change. And fired from the flank into the area. And cleared behind for what is going to be a corner kick. Over it comes. Well, in fairness, not the greatest of headers. And 30 minutes left for play in this match. Hoffenheim enjoying the bulk of possession here. However, after that, the coach will be disappointed with what they produced. They need to be a little bit more clinical in front of goal. Well, sitting deep like this might be a dangerous game. And a very good challenge.
Rudy. Diadi Samaseku. Baumgartner. Not a particularly strong challenge. Belfodil! Well, just narrowly over the crossbar. Good hit, though. Spielerwechsel bei Hoffenheim. Nicht mehr dabei. Die Nummer 16, Sebastian Rudi. Neu auf dem Feld. Die Nummer 20, Mia Gacinovic. We're now inside the final 20 minutes of the game. Excellent challenge. And breaking at pace with Menace. Well, he went strongly into the challenge and the result is a throw-in. Jorge Mere. Is it going to end up being productive for them? Going about his defensive business with a minimum of fuss. Mijat Gacinovic. Good-looking ball. There could be a chance now. He knew he had to make the tackle and did. Elias Skiri. And the goal kick will be next. And they will make the change now. Florian Grilic. And Kramaric on the ball. Well, there's still scope for late drama here. Five minutes left and just one goal between the sides. And the snuffing out of the cross there. Well, that is a moment I'm sure he wishes he could have back. Well, he did everything right, the movement and everything. He got his head on it, but it's way, way off target. The number nine, Sebastian Anderson. Really good interception. They've got to be really mindful of the time situation, attacking though they might be. And dealt with that ball comfortably. He has time to play it over. Can he find the net? Just couldn't get it through. Oh, what's he gone and done? Able defending. The camp gives it a go. What late excitement. And the match is level. Well, here's the replay. And Derek, if you get caught on the ball there, you should be fined a week's wages. It's terrible. And he's punished. Some explaining to be done to his coach, I feel. And there's the whistle, all even at the end of 90 minutes here. Kramaric. Well, really rifling that one in, and he didn't miss by much. Over it comes. Well, the 
fairness, not the greatest of headers.